Brampton Sports Hall of Fame has welcomed its first member of the martial arts discipline in the veterans category. The legendary Wally Slokey, considered one of Canada's greatest exponents of the sport, was introduced to the martial arts early on in his life and started training in the 1950s. Slokey competed during the golden age of karate in North America. At the time, it was referred to as the blood and guts era when Chuck Norris took part. As a black belt, Slokey won an abundance of trophies and earned a reputation as a heartfelt contestant who seldom let up the pressure. During that period, he was the Canadian who entered karate tournaments in the USA. He patched his name and a Canadian flag to the back of his gi and was soon recognized at events as the legendary Canadian. He became a big draw and promoters flew him in to teach all across the United States. Slokey won the Canadian Championship in 1967, 68 and 70. Slokey also won the Ontario Championships in 1972, 73, and 74. Slokey continued to fight for the World Kickboxing Championship in 1974 and 1976. Wally Slokey was one of the best fighters to ever come out of Canada, if not the best, said Bob Wall, a martial artist and actor who appeared with Bruce Lee in movies including Way of the Dragon and Enter the Dragon. My uh, friendship with Bruce Lee, my friendship with Chuck Norris, or um, uh, some of the greats, the nicest memory that uh, uh, is staying up half the night with these people, uh, you know, two, three, four, five in the morning and just exchanging ideas and concepts of the martial arts. Slokey was rated number one in the world of full contact karate and four-time North American Karate Kung Fu champion. Slokey was the first to popularize the scissor kick. When an opponent blocked a high round kick, Slokey would take him down with the scissor kick. It was another karate legend. Wally Slokey was the first one to have the really spectacular kicks. His roundhouse and sidekick were envied by all, said Ron Marchini. Coming out of retirement in 1988, Slokey won the USKA World Championships in Arizona, followed by competing in the US Open World Championships in 1997, winning kata. Slokey has a passion to teach the martial arts form, to share his knowledge and wisdom which was demonstrated by opening karate schools specializing in unique programs for men, women, and kids. Brampton, when I first started teaching here in Brampton, it was, uh, uh, back then there was no kids, very few kids uh, in the martial arts. And I started the children's programs. Back then, um, what I wanted to do is to get the kids off the street. Slokey has dedicated his professional career to developing an educational system around the art form of martial arts. In the late 1960s, Slokey opened Eastern Karate in downtown Brampton on Main Street North, which expanded a few years later to be known as the Canadian School of Health and Self-Defense. His schools introduced an educational program for adults and kids to build their confidence and self-esteem, along with a Street Smart program. Slokey started his next chapter of karate schools with opening Super Kids Karate in the 1980s, which expanded to franchises across Canada. Taught here was the Slokey Ryu system that included a focus on youth. It encompassed an oriental tradition steeped in core values of self-discipline, honesty, and respect. Slokey's Street Smart program was featured on City TV, Global, and CBC, focusing on educating women and kids on protecting themselves. The inspiration um, in the martial arts is um, I've always wanted to make sure that the next person is better. And I've always wanted to give something to that person so that they can take it and pass it on to somebody else. Slokey's success continued in the corporate world by customizing programs that included the learnings of the martial arts along with self-defense. Slokey also implemented the Slokey system for the Toronto Board of Education in 1983 to 2000. In 2006, Slokey was inducted into the Canadian Black Belt Hall of Fame. And he continues this day to train and teach customized corporate stress management seminars. I'm all for that. Anything to, for the future, the betterment of an individual, a youngster, that's what inspires me more and more and more every day.